Hello and welcome to Joshism's Two Pesos. I wanted to share with everyone one of my struggles in maintaining my aquarium, which is the blue-green algae, also known as the cyanobacteria, and how I overcame it. I did some research online and there were a few options to remove cyanobacteria. I decided to try hydrogen peroxide because it was cheaper. What's in your wallet? I have a razor blade algae scraper, but it scratched my smaller aquariums before, so a few guys online gave me the idea to use a credit card, and it worked pretty well. So I physically removed the cyanobacteria with my credit card and a toothbrush. I used a syringe to spray some hydrogen peroxide directly on the cyanobacteria as well. You could see the reaction immediately with the bacteria. I also tried it with my 4 gallon UNS 5N, which was also infested with cyanobacteria. Within a few minutes, the cyanobacteria looked like it was glowing red. It literally looked like what you see here on camera. Although it did work, I still saw some cyanobacteria afterwards. A few days later, the cyanobacteria covered the entire nano aquarium again. I lost some of my plants and I stunted the growth of some of them. I lost a Mexican dwarf crayfish as well. One plant species that I did not want to lose was Rotella telenadensis. This was a very sensitive species and I have lost it to potassium permanganate snail dipping. I hate snails and I go to great lengths to be snail free. I found success with one tablespoon per gallon three day baths with alum. With this I have zero plant casualties and I have not seen any snails so far. Back to the cyanobacteria. I physically removed almost all of the bacteria and did a 95% water change on both aquariums and I decided to try Chemiclean. I had to treat the aquariums twice and in the end I can say that this product worked very well for my freshwater planted aquariums and the cyanobacteria is completely gone. I highly recommend this product, but I think it is really expensive for the amount that you get. I had zero plant or livestock casualties. at home pretty excited about that Josh is only about um, 10 minutes from my work so I'm feeling like it's pretty convenient and he has given me a wealth of knowledge I'm getting pretty excited to go home and plant he's 
got a beautiful setup here with the rocks and all the plants and the fish swimming and I feel so inspired that I'm going to be able to do something much better than what I have going now and really awesome to make a new fishy friend and I know he's going to be there to help me along my way as I learn how to take care of these plants. I hope that you enjoyed my content and I hope that you learned a thing or two. I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. If you can click like and subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate that. This is Joshism and that's my two pesos.